So, the other day I was just going over my man Linux Gamer Life here. He makes great content by the way, so I say subscribe to him, and while you're at it, subscribe to me too. Anyways, getting into his most recent video, we can see that it says Linux has an anti-cheat problem. Now, I covered Linux anti-cheat related topics on two other videos I made, so go watch them after this video. When I watched his video on the anti-cheat problem with Linux, he claims that he spoke with a developer of cheat software. Now he also said that he couldn't confirm it, so don't start any fights with him. But anyways, most of the issues with anti-cheat on Linux is on kernel level anti-cheat. Although there aren't really many issues with server-side anti-cheat. But what he also says in the video is that server-side anti-cheat isn't as effective and I'll cover that later in the video too. Now kernel level anti-cheat is a little controversial not just in the Linux community but within the general gaming community. So if you don't know how kernel level anti-cheat works, let's break it down. Now an operating system has multiple layers called protection rings. These layers essentially control the privileges of the user and applications. Now let's say on Windows, users can essentially control and manage most applications and drivers just fine. Although they cannot do things like change and configure the kernel as they aren't within the privilege to do so. And no, right clicking and selecting run as administrator won't work. But for kernel level anti-cheat, it can have access to the kernel to modify message reads and logs to identify cheats that are hiding within the system. But that also means it can get access to all the data in the system up to a higher privilege than the user of the system. Now this has raised a lot of controversy due to privacy concerns. Like people don't want some company or game studio software to snoop through all your files and data. Because that could mean you could be tracked or your data could be collected, or even both. But you may say, why not just stick to server-side anti-cheat and continue to work on it and improve it? Well, for server-side anti-cheats, they can be quite wonky at times, like having false abandoned positives due to technical issues, it doesn't do well against code injections, solid aimbots, and slight changes in aim. Due to it being slow to validate game input, it can lead to lag as well, resulting in faster hacks easily sneaking away. Server-side anti-cheats also can really detect cheats that come from third-party software or outside software from the game. Although that doesn't mean server-side anti-cheat is completely useless. It can still detect your little Timmy hacking and flying around the map with 100 KD. But for more moderated and composed cheaters, like cheaters that are already good at the game, they just need the slight edge to get their aim accuracy from like 90% to maybe like 100%. Now that will be extremely hard to detect and catch for a server-side anti-cheat. Now there's this other thing called AI anti-cheat that is being spread out about within the works, although it isn't perfect. AI anti-cheat could ban or kick someone in game for being very skilled at it or for maybe just landing lucky shots. Although if AI anti-cheat could get smarter and more accurate, then maybe it could be a viable solution. But I still think we could need to wait a few more years for it to get to that level. Now let's get it back into kernel level anti-cheat. Now since it has the highest privilege that the users themselves on the systems like Windows and macOS don't even have, it is quite effective, even with the risk of privacy concerns. Although the systems that give you full control of your system, like Linux, it makes it much easier for cheaters to place and hide cheats in where the sun don't shine, or easily override the anti-cheat due to the amount of control you get. Now that control isn't actually bad as it gives you freedom and privacy, although things like implementing effective anti-cheats become a lot harder. Now maybe if developers took the time and money to work on their anti-cheats for Linux, Things would be different, but almost no company would care about spending time and money to work on implementing their anti-cheat for a system that literally has 4% of the desktop market share. Maybe when the Linux market share gets higher, they would consider it, but even as a proud Linux user who hopes the best for Linux, I don't see it happening anytime soon. In the meantime, we could just play the games that are compatible with Linux. 
And that is why I also give my utmost respect and appreciation to the game developers out there that support their game on Linux, whether it's native or through Proton. Anyways, this will be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe leave a comment with your thoughts. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe. God bless you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.